Hey, what's going on? It's Ron Clay here. I'm going to just briefly go over how to use the OBS uh, League of Legends scene switcher. Now, this, of course, you get from the uh, OBS website. Uh, if you do a search for League of Legends scene switcher, you'll find it. I'll also put the link to this in the comments of the video. Um, basically, what you need to do is you need to download whichever version that you use. And if you don't know which version you use, um, if you go to your start menu, I'm using Windows 8, of course. Um, I usually use a 64-bit version, so you'll want to download the 64-bit version. Now, the instructions here are kind of a bit misleading because it says to put them in program files, OBS plugins. Um, that's not quite where I have it on mine. Um, you can see here I have it in C, program files, x86, OBS, and I have uh, the plugins here, but that's not right because this, there's actually a 64-bit version that is under the OBS directory, and that's the plugins directory that you want to use. So my full path is C, Program Files, x86, OBS, 64-bit, and then plugins. Of course, if you aren't sure, um, all you need to do is go here, um, open the file location for that. That'll take you to the shortcut, and then open the file location again, and that will take you to the correct directory that you can double click on plugins. Now it's really is as easy as just uh, downloading the proper version. And you can see here, uh, you know, it just downloads a simple DLL and that's all it does. And you take that and you just pop it in this directory. I already have it, so I don't need to put it in, but that's where you put it is in that directory. Um, and that should do it. Now to check if it's installed, you go back to your uh, OBS screen here. You'll go to your global, I'm sorry, go to plugins. And when you go to plugins, it should be listed here, the League of Legends scene switcher. Uh, then you go to configure it. And when you configure it, there's a couple options. Um, if you don't want it to switch scenes for whatever reason, like uh, I don't typically want to do that when I'm doing observer mode, so I'll turn it off for that. Um, you need to tell it where League of Legends is. Uh, when League of Legends gets closed, you can have it switch over to a different scene. Uh, but usually when I close League of Legends, I'm editing my stream, so I don't really care. Uh, when tapped out of League of Legends, like you can go to desktop, like let's say that you're checking lolnexus.com or something, and you want people to be able to see that. Well, you can just tab over to lolnexus, and then you can have a scene set up that will show you um, lolnexus. Um, the load screen, when that comes up, it will switch the scene for you. Um, in game it will also switch the scene and on the end message um, unfortunately this is when you get the victory or defeat screen so it doesn't quite go to the end of the game. Um, you can go back to uh, another scene and these are all scenes that that you have set up previously. Um, and I'll just very quickly run over the three scenes that I have. I'll open go ahead and open the League of Legends client here. When I open the launcher You can see I have the launcher set up, and this is my League of Legends launcher scene. And I just have set up so my camera's down here, six gaming logo here, Runkly gaming logo up there. Um, and then when I go in and uh, watch a game, in this case I'm just going to go ahead and uh, observe a game here. And now you can see that when it comes up, the screen will switch. You can see it went away and it's loading up the game just like normal. So this is my uh, game mode here that I'll show. Yeah, there you have it. You can see uh, that this particular scene is for the game, because I have the, the uh, I have my image in between the information screen here and the map. Uh, so it works out really nice. And the, these little uh, Sprollers that I have across the top, you know, the little promo I do, that works in, that doesn't work in observer mode, so in observer mode I actually have a different one, um, and that's why I set that one up manually. Uh, this is the observer one, you know, I'll usually have a status here that I can change to whatever I want, you know, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so this, it's just a matter of, uh, downloading the DLL, putting it in the appropriate folder, again for me that was C, Program Files, x86, uh, OBS, 64-bit, and then plugins. Um, I will, and I'll put all this in the description 
of the video so that you can hopefully find the correct location for your um, OBS. Anyway, uh, good luck, have fun streaming, and I'll see you later.